Good evening. ICB has pulled the Jeremy Kyle programme off air until further notice after one of its guests died. The female participant was found dead a week after filming. That episode will not now be aired and ITB is carrying out an urgent investigation. The programme was due to run as usual this morning but was replaced at the last moment. It's not clear when it will return and the show is facing questions of the amount of support it gives its participants, as Dan Rivers reports. Chris, who's now with Shaney, is next on The Jeremy Kyle Show. It has a reputation for confrontation and controversy where participants face off to air their most personal problems. That was your mate? Yeah, it was. Why would you sleep with his ex? Look but now ITV's Jeremy Carl show is facing its own crisis after news that one guest had been found dead a week after appearing on the show in an episode that won't ever air. Today, ITV issued a statement saying, Everyone at ITV and the Jeremy Carl show is shocked and saddened at the news of the death of a participant in the show and our thoughts are with their family and friends. Given the seriousness of this event, ITV has also decided to suspend both filming and broadcasting of the Jeremy Kyle show with immediate effect in order to give it time to conduct a review of this episode of the show. There was no further detail from executives who make the programme at Salford's Media City. Let's get Graham on the Jeremy Kyle show. Give no word from the show's on-screen psychotherapist, Graham Stanier, who's director of the so-called aftercare team employed to help solve guests' problems. I've never, ever experienced any racial abuse. Dee Kelly from Benefit Street appeared on a celebrity edition of the show in February and defends the support she received. It was a very positive experience for me and we got a lot of like pre-show care as well as after-show care. Um, you had the producers and the runners and everyone was absolutely brilliant. They'd come in and they were talking to you. But there are plenty of other notorious incidents which have raised questions over the future of the show. Mick Philpott already had an attempted murder conviction before appearing with Jeremy Carl in 2007. A leading criminologist accused the programme of making him a celebrity. He's now in jail for the manslaughter of his six children. In the same year, a Manchester judge likened the show to bear baiting after sentencing a man for assaulting another guest on stage. And in 2008, a man ended up in court for threatening his wife with a loaded air rifle a week after she appeared on the show. I would question the amount of help and support that actually comes out of appearing on a show like The Jeremy Kyle Show in terms of the fact that I wonder what it's like for them going back into their everyday lives and having aired their difficulties in public to su in such a way and on such a programme. So it's not the sort of programme that I personally would feel comfortable working on. After the suicide of Love Island star Mike Thalassitis earlier this year, the welfare of those suddenly made famous has never been more prominent, and neither has the duty of care TV companies face for vulnerable members of the public who take part in their programmes. Well, Dan, ITV seemed to be taking this very seriously. Yeah, I think they would defend uh, the way they uh, deal with their participants, saying they have lots of measures in place to look after them both before and after programmes are, are broadcast. But, you know, absolutely, it's a sign of the seriousness with which they're taking this, that they have immediately suspended the show. And don't forget, this is the highest rating show on ITV daytime. More than a million people tune in to watch it, so they wouldn't have done that lightly. Um, this evening, Ofcom have also put out a statement saying this is a distressing case, uh, saying that they are discussing this programme with, with ITV as a priority to understand exactly what took place. And that's unusual because obviously Ofcom normally only deals with things once they've gone to air. OK, Dan, thank you for that.